On a more serious note, as many of y'all already know, members of Sigma Alpha Epsilon at the University of Oklahoma were caught on camera singing racial slurs on the bus. It goes to clip of it right here. I'll just feel about hearing it's it. It's crazy, man. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. It really is because I, I, me personally, I feel like it was taught. I don't feel yeah. like that was anything. I feel like that's, oh, that's a oh, generational course, thing. Like they, yeah, they've been teaching down. it. But you know what, y'all? That's this life. But I mean, on a better note, um, he did apologize. Do you think the poly the apology was sincere? Oh no, let's watch a clip of it and see. Yeah. Uh, I'm not here today to talk about where I learned the chant or how it was taught. I'm here to apologize for what I did because the truth the truth is that what was said in that chant is disgusting and it should never and after meeting with these people and everybody else I've met with, uh, I've learned that these words should never be repeated, joked about or ever used in any form ever again. And uh, these are lessons that I'm gonna carry with me for the rest of my life. Truthfully I don't know about y'all but I feel like that apology was just Phony as could be. Yeah, it lacked sincerity. It was very staged, if you ask me. But, but I feel like, I'm not going to say he necessarily didn't mean it, but I'm not going to say he did. But I feel like, I mean, that's just something he had to do regardless because he couldn't just go without saying nothing because that's bad for him for business. But yeah, right. but I get what everybody's saying because it, you didn't really get that emotional feel from him. Exactly. Yeah. But, you know, who are we to not accept his apology? You know, if he does ask for forgiveness, you know, it's our job to give it to him, you know, whether he's sincere about it or not, you know, so let's live up to him and God, you know. Because we are promoting positivity, so... I'm not going to lie. I'm not forgiving nobody for that. No, listen. I mean, what you, you can't... I mean, can't. I'm just being real. I'm sorry. But, I'm not but, forgiving. But remember, we have to go back to what... Why, why we're trying to teach people though? to be positive. Hold on, wait, 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 Why do no, you say I, you don't forgive But that's not... But you, Let you me talk. Have I, I want to hear what he said. Why can't you forgive him? I mean, truthfully, this some um, obviously y'all said it y'all said this something that's been taught. So whether he apologizes or not, his son and his kids gonna come through with the same mindset as him of hanging from a tree that never be a you know what S A E. Like I don't care how many times you apologize, I, I maybe forgive you, but I'm not gonna forget. So maybe that's what I'm getting misconstrued. Okay. Like, well, that's, you know, I mean, you don't, you don't have, have to forgive, but it. always forgive. Yeah. Don't. I, I don't respect it. Um. um on better words, like I don't respect. You just didn't apology. respect. No, the apology. like it was just whack. He just did that just for appeasement of the people. But the scary thing is, like I searched SAE and like SAE on resumes, they're like bankers and lawyers, politicians, like influential people in society, and people don't even know that. Like these are head honchos, and SAE is all over the country. So you gotta understand that that chapter doing it. What you think the other chapters are doing? So. But in a lot of those situations happening, the president did take proper actions and suspended the chapter off of the yard. And I also heard about him implementing diversity groups amongst campus, you know, so it gives them a chance to teach, you know, the points of diversity and the importance of all different races coexisting in the world that we live in today. You know, technically, I just feel like they got what they deserve. So I just feel let's forgive and move on and just hope nothing like that happens exactly. again. Exactly. I feel like the positive thing to take from it is just, just really think about all your actions before you do them. Yeah. Don't, don't just because it's passed down to you. You know, you got to think for yourself. And I think that's a big problem in our generation. Just think for yourself. Be smart about it. Have integrity. Uh, I agree. But um, me being real Afrocentric, we're going to get into my segment. My segment is Back to Black. And the Back to Black segment is simply a segment that uh, gives time to shine a light on the black community when someone's doing something positive for our community. I'm real Afrocentric. So that's going to be my segment. And for this first episode, it goes out to Thomas Harris and Jimmy Designs. And what they do is they help small businesses, organizations, or individuals really get up off the ground and be more profitable. What he does is they he helps design the website, uh, design a logo, marketing ideas in any projects and in specific what the specific what he does is he creates projects for the business to help benefit each other so it's really a give and take situation and where they can both help each other and right now we he actually helped develop the website for that's official tv and we would like to dedicate this segment to him okay.